to my channel. So today I'm bringing you a Louis Vuitton haul. It's not something I do very often, uh, but I'm super excited to be doing this video today for two reasons. Number one, because I got some pieces that were on my bucket list for a while. And number two, because I have the opportunity to partner with an amazing company called Ana Luisa. They reached out to me and they asked if I would like to be an ambassador for their brand. And I was so happy to say yes. I went and checked out their website, you know, before I gave them an answer. And I just love everything about this company from the beautiful pieces that they offer. They're so unique. They're high quality. They're made with good materials. But most of all, I really love their mission statement and their goal. So this company wants to be a uh, completely as sustainable as possible. And their goal is to leave a zero carbon net footprint by the end of 2020. And they are doing that in ways uh, such as, you know, with their packaging, like this is what uh, my three pieces, I got three pieces of jewelry. This is what my three pieces of jewelry was sent in. It's a very small box, so they're not using oversized packaging and more materials than they have to to send your product to you. Um, they are also uh, sustainable in the sense that they partner exclusively with jewelers that do in-house plating and they do this so they can avoid from outsourcing to companies that have questionable working conditions for their employees. And I love that about them as well. Uh, you guys know that I am a uh, counterterrorism major. I'm getting my master's in infrastructure security management. And one of the ways that terrorists fund their activity is through questionable means of business. And so I really love it when I hear that companies are making sure that they're not outsourcing to people who have questionable work conditions. And the other thing is they also use 100% recycled sterling silver on the pieces that use sterling silver. This particular piece that I'm wearing is the Michelle set. I absolutely love it, it's gorgeous. And this one happens to be 14 karat gold plating over brass. And I'll give you a close up of it. It's a beautiful piece. It's actually three separate necklaces. It's a chain link necklace and the popular paperclip link necklace and then the sunburst coin pendant. And the chain for this one is like this. It's so beautiful. I'm so in love with the pieces that I got. And I'm gonna show you really quick how they come packaged. So first I wanted to show you how the jewelry is sent to you. It comes with these beautiful little felt pouches that the jewelry is placed in. And this one is a, like a military green. And it says the Ana Luisa on it. And this happens to be the necklace that I am wearing right now. And so this is their collaboration with a vlogger named Michelle. So you just unsnap it. And this is how it is packaged. And it's just so pretty. This is the sunburst dial that I have on right now. And then the other two pieces as well. So yeah, so that is how it's packaged. Each piece of jewelry does come with its own felt pouch for you to store it in. And I could imagine you probably can also wipe it down with this as well as it is soft enough. This is the other two pieces that I did get from them. This is the Eve's necklace. It runs about $59 and it is blue enamel on 14 karat plated brass. And then this is the seal locket. And I really love this necklace because it has genuine lapis lazuli stone in the center or on the top of it here. And then in the very center, it has a little cubic zirconia that is very brilliant. And this particular piece just caught my eye because to me, it looks like the night sky with a bright shining star just emanating from the center of it. Here is a close up of the pieces. Both pieces are adjustable. So 
you can make this longer and you can make this one longer as well. I have this in the shortest setting and this in the shortest setting. So this can be made much longer because each one has three separate settings that you can put it in. So those are the other two pieces that I selected. Okay, so those are the pieces that I got from Ana Luisa. If you are interested in the particular ones that I showed you or you want to browse their website and pick something for yourself, again, there's going to be a coupon code listed down below in the description. Um, it should be at the very top. And uh, I know you're gonna find something that you like. There's price range for every budget. The, uh, the pieces start at about $39 and then they go up from there. And so they're very um, affordable for good quality jewelry. So I know you're gonna find something you like. So make sure you check them out and uh, let me know if you end up ordering something and what you ordered. I'm really interested in knowing if you found something that suited your style. And they can be worn so many different ways. Like I have this on with a off the shoulder top. You can also wear it with like a basic tee and some jeans and you know, just they would elevate any outfit just because they're such beautiful pieces. So definitely comment down below if you went to their website and you ordered something. Okay, so now I'm gonna get on with the Louis Vuitton haul portion of this video. I know you guys have been waiting for this. So thank you for listening to what I had to say first. So the very first piece that I'm going to show you guys is something that I have been wanting for quite a while and I was going to buy it, but then I ended up not getting it because then they pulled it and then they brought it back out and you may or may not know what piece this is, but I took it out of its box because I wanted to, I wanted to let it, um, the creases start to fall out of it and I didn't want it to, um, have creases in it when I go to use it. So this is the bag that it came in and you might be able to tell what it is just from me showing you the bag. So the first piece that I got is, and I have it stuffed, so you might see bubble wrap at the top, is the Louis Vuitton Artsy in the Damier Azor print. I've had my eye on an Artsy for like forever and I just never would take the plunge. I've never purchased a Louis Vuitton bag that was as expensive as the Artsy and I think I just had a really hard time taking that plunge, uh, especially once they changed the design of the Artsy and well they didn't really change the design. What they did was they added leather trim to the top and that was because the other bags were experiencing cracking across the top of them. And so they did this to prevent the cracking from taking place. It took me a while to get on board with this because I really had my eyes set on the other Artsy. And so when this one came out, I was like, oh, I don't like it. It's kind of gaudy. It looks terrible. I just was so opposed to it. But then the more I looked at it, I really started liking it better. Um, and I especially like it with the Damier Azor. So I thought about getting the monogram print, but I do already have a graceful MM in the monogram. And I just felt like these two styles are just a little, or those two styles are a little too similar to each other for me to get a monogram in the artsy because then I thought, well, if I get an artsy in the monogram, will I really use my graceful that much? So I decided to go ahead and go with the Damier Azor. And one reason I went with the Damier Azor is because I did have to return my Damier Azor Neverfull. So I wouldn't have had a Damier Azor piece if I didn't get this one. And I love the Damier Azor print. I just think it's beautiful. I think it's perfect for year round. Um, also, another thing that I wanted to point out with uh, the bags is the handle is going to be pretty stiff at first and so is the actual canvas and the bag itself so there isn't a lot of room for you know to put your arm through here like if you're gonna wear it on your shoulder 
but with time, this handle will soften and bend, and also this will relax, and it will kind of lay down. I have bubble wrap in it right now, but I will show you the inside. So yeah, so if with time, this is going to relax. It's kind of a bouncy kind of bag. So with time, it's going to relax. I would not recommend if you get one of these bags, whether you got the new style or the old style, I would not recommend what a lot of people are doing and they are putting stuff in their bag and they're hanging this on a doorknob. Um, I don't recommend that because that gives it a very unnatural crease right here underneath. You want it to be nice and rounded like it is right now. You don't want it to have this sharp crease in it and that will happen if you do not let this process take place gradually. So I have seen um, the new bags. I haven't seen it with the old bags, but they also changed what is on the interior of the handle. So I don't know if it used to be rope and now it's cork or if it used to be cork and now it's rope, but um, yeah. So the interior of the handle is different and made with different materials. So with the way the new ones are, if you sit here and bend this handle uh, and don't let it happen gradually, you're going to end up with a sharp crease in the bottom part of your bag and it's going to look bad. So anyway, so this was the first thing that I picked up. I do love the Artsy. It has the four feet on the bottom to protect your bag when you set it down. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the stuffing out of it really quick so I can show you the interior. Okay, so I took the stuffing out of the bag and this bag is enormous. And um, this is one of the reasons why I have always wanted the art seat, not just because it's a beautiful bag, but it's also one of the few bags that Louis Vuitton offers that has compartments on the inside. So this is the what I would consider to be the front side of the bag. So this is the front and it does have the very light cream colored microfiber material on the inside. I'm trying to see if I can show it to you. And it has three flat pockets right here. So let's see if I can show you. And they're pretty good size. Like my whole hand fits inside of that pocket. So it has one here, one here, and one over here. They're all the same size and they are flat pockets. And then it also has a very large zipper compartment as well, right here. So you can see that zipper compartment there as well. Very big. So that's four pockets just on that one side of the bag. And, oh, and did you guys notice the zipper pull? Is that different? Did they change that from previously? Because now it's like a little round, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just like this little round solid piece of gold toned metal or brass. I don't know. I don't think they use brass anymore. But yeah, anyway, so that's what the zipper pull looks like. And it has the Louis Vuitton emblem on the end. So on the back side of the bag, and I consider this to be the back side because that's where the tag is. So on the back side of the bag, as you can see, there are three more slip pockets. And they are the exact same size as the slip pockets on the front side of the bag. And I don't know if you saw or not, but uh, let me see, where is it at? Oh, it's over here. My bag is a made in the USA bag. Where's the tag at? I just saw it. So it has the little leather tag right here that says made in the USA from imported fabrics. Um, all of the fabric that Louis Vuitton bags are made with comes from France. So no matter where your bag was assembled, it's assembled with the material that comes from France. And honestly, um, I've had both made in the USA bags and made in France bags, and there's no difference in the quality, the craftsmanship, there is absolutely no difference. So I don't want you all to think that just because your bag is not made in France that it is not worth as much or it's not as good as a bag that is made in France because that would be completely false. Um, I actually just returned two bags that were made in France because they were 
faulty and they had quality issues, quality care issues. So, and that was uh, really the main reason why I got these two because I ended up taking back some of my bags that had problems. If you watched my last video, then you saw that my Speedy Bandelier size 30, the two handles were different colors. And that's because they are now starting to treat the Vachetta leather on bags that have it. And some of the client advisors will tell you that they don't treat it, but that's not true because they do treat it. Some of the pieces are treated, some of the pieces are not. So my bags, uh, I had three bags total, two Neverfulls and a Speedy that had been uh, made with mixed pieces of leather. So I had portions of my bag that were developing a patina while other portions of my bag did not. So I was very hesitant to get this bag because um, I didn't wanna get the Empreint right now. I really like the canvas look and I also like the microfiber interior and the Empreint bags have a canvas interior. So um, I really wanted to get a canvas bag and um, I was nervous though because I was afraid, well, what if it's the same situation? What if this is treated and this isn't or vice versa? So uh, I just decided I'm gonna go ahead and get the bag. I'm not gonna let it stop me. And if I start seeing problems early on, I'm just gonna take it right back to them because uh, one of my biggest things with Louis Vuitton is they need to be held accountable when they are not making products correctly because for as much as they charge for their bags, they need to be making stuff right. And I urge any of you out there who are having difficulty with your bags, uh, don't settle for somebody telling you, oh, that's, that's normal, it's supposed to do that. No, if you know without a doubt it's not normal, then do not take their answer as gospel. You don't have to. So call client services, or ask to speak to the manager, or even go to a different Louis Vuitton if you have to. But don't sit there and accept their answer if you know without a doubt that they are not correct and you are. So that's basically what happened with me. I took my three bags back. They tried to tell me that it was normal. I said, no, it's not. And so, yeah, so I ended up with two different bags. I'm sad that I don't have the bags that I took back, but you know, it is what it is. And maybe if enough people start taking their bags back or making them replace them or making them repair them, maybe they will fix the problem and they'll realize that, you know, this isn't going unnoticed. Uh, I saw another video of another viewer who had the new version of the Artsy and she had the monogram and her trim was not developing a patina as quickly as the handle. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye out for that because Yes, it does make me nervous. Um, I wanna be able to keep this bag. I don't want to have to return it, but you know, if it starts doing the same thing, then I'm taking it back. But as for now, I'm absolutely in love with it. I've wanted the Artsy uh, for a very long time, and, uh, and now I finally have it. So this bag, I think, currently runs for about, I think it's 2180, I think. It was 2000 when I first started looking at it, um, which was a few years ago. So it hasn't really gone up that much in terms of Louis Vuitton price increases because they're notorious for raising their prices constantly. But I think the reason they didn't raise the price on this one as quickly is because they did have to pull it for a short period of time. And uh, then they you know, added this trim at the top. And I think they're still on the fence about whether people like that or not. Um, like I said, I didn't initially, but it has grown on me, so we'll see. Anyway, so this was the first item that I got. Absolutely love it. I'm so excited to start using it. Excited and scared at the same time. Okay, so that's that one. I'm just going to set it over here for now. Okay, the next item that I got, oh my gosh, you guys aren't going to believe I got this. The next item that I got is in this box right here. Oh, and also FYI, Louis Vuitton is having a box and bag and ribbon shortage. So when I purchased these things, I got a bag that was so small that the box this came in didn't fit in it. It was sticking up. I was a little scared to walk out to my car with it like that. So I stopped in Neiman Marcus and they gave me a huge garment bag to put all of my stuff in and I walked out to my car with that. So if 
you know, you go buy something and they don't give you the correct box or bag, they're not lying to you. There is a nationwide shortage right now. I think because so many people are ordering online because a lot of the stores aren't open. However, my store was open and it's the Houston Galleria location. So, um, and you don't have to have an appointment, but they do only allow so many people in the store right now because of the uh, pandemic. And so you might have to stand in line, but I had an appointment, uh, so I didn't have to stand in line. Anyway, so this is the next item that I got and I'm so excited about this one, like super duper excited about this one. I'm like I'm excited about that, but I'm really excited about this. So let me just, okay. As soon as I show it to you, you're probably gonna know as soon as you see the box, I mean the bag. Okay, I'll put that there. Okay, why does my shirt keep riding up like I have big football shoulders? Okay, so this is the bag it came in. I know you're going to already know what it is, but I'm going to hide it anyway before I pull it out. So I got the, da, 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 da. I got the Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. Oh my gosh. It took me forever to get this bag. I mean, it was like, I don't know. It was like mission impossible trying to get this particular bag. And I wanted it in the reverse because I love the way this looks with the reverse canvas. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. I do still have the stickers on the front here and I'm going to leave them on because I have some little um, Louis Vuitton hardware guards on the way and they aren't gonna be here till like September. So I'm gonna try to keep this on as long as I can until they get here. And so anyway, so yes, I decided to go with the reverse and I love this because it has the black treated handle and or leather on it. And it just says Louis Vuitton Paris on top. And so you can carry it like this. I probably will absolutely never carry it like this because, yeah, I don't know. That's just, I don't know. Maybe I will. I, I shouldn't say never. I've said that so many times. I've I've said I'm never going to do something and I turn around and do it and have to eat crow. But um, yeah, so I, but I more than likely will not ever carry it by the top handle. Um, mine is nice and smooth. It doesn't have any wrinkles or creases in it. And yeah. So this is one piece of canvas that wraps around to the back of the bag. So the back is upside down. It does have a very nice zipper on the back with a beautiful zipper pull that says Louis Vuitton on both sides of it. So back here, you are able to fit your phone. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and it has a substantially sized case on it because I'm scared to death I'm gonna drop it and break it. And it fits comfortably back here without creating a bulge in the back of the bag or pressure points. Um, the zipper is nice and smooth. So this is the S-lock closure. I made sure when I purchased it that the lock was straight and centered and not wonky. Um, only one side pushes in. So this side is stationary and then this side, you just push it and it pops open. So this is what the interior looks like. It is a reverse monogram on the underneath side of the flap. And then I do have it stuck with just a little bit of bubble wrap in the front. So it has three compartments. You can fit a lot more in this bag than you would think. I'm going to do a what fits inside this bag video as well. I'm just not gonna do it in this one because this video is already gonna be super long. So this is the front compartment. I love that it has the black microfiber lining. And then here's the strap. I love the strap because the strap is completely in the reverse monogram. And this is the center section right here. And then it does have a back compartment but the back compartment is very slim and you're not gonna fit much in it. So especially if you're keeping your phone back here, you don't wanna put something in this back pocket because then that's going to push your phone out and then it will create pressure points here on the canvas. But uh, yeah, so I mean, or you could just put your phone here. I will probably put my phone here and use this back compartment for maybe cash or something flat that's not going to leave a pressure point back here but it does open up very wide. The compartments are very large with the exception of this back one. And you can see the accordion design on the side. And I love how they alternated the canvases. 
So it's, you know, reverse, regular, reverse, regular. The sides have the D-rings and it has the black treated leather and it has the little button that says Louis Vuitton on it. And I got really lucky. Mine is a made in France bag. Don't ask me how I managed to pull that off because I wouldn't be able to tell you. The only thing that um, I could see having an issue with with this bag um, is the black microfiber lining does attract lint very easily. So if you are a stickler for the inside of your bag being clean, which I am, um, then that might bother you. So I can see myself probably uh, either lint rolling this thing frequently or you know getting some tape and cleaning it out right now it's pretty good it had like a couple little fuzzies and i removed them but yeah i don't know how i ended up with okay look there's one right there i see it um i don't know how i ended up with a made in france but i did and i'm so glad because um you know it doesn't matter where your bag is made i mean they're the quality is the same but i always get excited when it is a made in france because it is a french brand and I just, I don't know, I like having that little piece of, you know, heritage. I like knowing that the actual bag was in France. I think that's what I like more than anything. The fact that the bag was in France, because I don't think I'll ever probably get to go to France. So at least my bag went. But um, yeah, so that's the only thing really that excites me about the whole made in France thing is that, you know, my bag was somewhere that I'll probably never get to go. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and Put the strap on it to show you guys what it looks like it does have five settings for you to adjust it to right now i have it like right smack in the center and another thing i checked is this bottom loop is nice and tight uh, i did see a couple of videos prior to my getting this bag where this bottom loop was very loose and it slipped all the way down and one woman's even slipped past the hardware. So she had to be careful when she would take her strap off because she ran the risk of losing this bottom loop. So, um, and if I was her, I would have totally gone back and had them replace my strap and give me another one, but she didn't. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap on for you so you can see what it looks like. And they just have the little lobster claw or kind of like, what are those things called? Like carabiner type hook. And I'm just gonna hook it on there. And I'm so excited to use this bag because I know that this is going to be a fairly carefree bag that I don't have to be careful, you know, like if it's raining or something. And it has such minimal amount of leather on it anyway that it's not gonna really matter anyhow. Um, let me shut that. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like. Now, the Pochette Matisse is notorious for having the front lean. Do you see that? How it kind of leans forward when you hold it? And that's because the two front pockets are the larger pockets and they are uh, substantially larger than the back pocket. And so a lot of people have a problem with that. I don't actually care. Um, if it has a little front lean because, you know, I'm going to be wearing a crossbody. And when I set it down, the bulk of my items are probably going to be in the center pocket anyway. I'm not going to be putting heavy items in the front. So if you just put your heavier items in the center, then when you set your bag down, it's going to stay upright. It's not going to lean forward and fall face first. So, um, yeah, so I'm so excited that I finally got this bag. I never let you guys know because I didn't do videos, but this is actually my third Pochette Matisse. So the first one I bought in store and I got it home and I didn't inspect it because I was just so excited that I was able to get one and it was the solid monogram. They didn't have this one. And when I got home, I saw that it had glazing issues, like not minor glazing issues, like major glazing issues. Like, um, I don't remember where it was at. I want to say it was in the front somewhere, but it had a piece of glazing that was hanging down like in a point, almost like when paint drips. Um, but it was in a point and I noticed it, you know, when I went to open the bag up and I was like, what is that? And so I looked and I saw it and I was like, uh, that's mm, not okay. 
And then on the back side, there is glazing right here. And it also had a piece right here on the back. And I think I noticed the back piece first because when I had put the bag on, I think the piece on the back like snagged my sweater or something. And then I looked at it and I realized it had a piece of sharp uh, glazing hanging from it. And then when I inspected the entire bag, I saw the piece on the front too. So that bag went back. And then the next one that I ordered was, um, and I bought that one in store. So the next one that I ordered, I got online and I was able to get the reverse monogram. So I had it delivered to the store and I picked it up at the domain in Austin, that, that location. And when I got there, I you know decided to inspect the entire bag. And when I opened it up, uh, the glazing on this bag is black. When I opened it up, it had a big splash of black glazing stuck on the underside of the bag. And it was like this much. And so when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, there's glazing right here on the underside. And I asked the girl if she could get it off and she wasn't able to. So she called the manager over and I was still trying to decide whether or not I felt like I could live, you know, with that on there because I really wanted this bag. And so when the manager came over there and she saw it, I said, well, I said, I don't know. I said, maybe I can live with that. It is on the underside. And she was like, oh no, we can't sell this bag to you. She said, it's defective. And if we notice something is defective, we are not allowed to sell it. So she took my bag and gave me a refund. And so I was super sad, but I, you know, so I didn't end up with it. And then um, every other time I tried to get it, they were sold out. So I finally got it. If you guys are looking for your unicorn bag and you want a bag that is very hard to get a hold of right now, if you're able, is the time to get those bags because they are stocking more things right now because of the pandemic and because people are not allowed to go into a lot of the stores. Some of the stores aren't open at all. Some of them are doing only curbside um, pickup and that's, you know, you have to order it and have it sent there or, you know, they send you pictures and you buy it. But, um, and then some of them are doing by appointment only. So because that's kind of an inconvenience, a lot of people aren't going to the stores to buy their bags. They're buying them online. So if you have a particular bag that you've been having a really difficult time getting your hands on, now would be the time to try to buy it if you are able because they are stocking things up. So when I checked this last night, both this one and the monogram were available but it kind of fluctuates and goes back and forth throughout the day. So um, earlier in the day when I checked, this one wasn't available, but the monogram was. And then later last night, they were both available. So just keep checking because they are restocking and refreshing the website pretty regularly with these um, hard to get bags. So anyway, so this was my other bag. And like I said, I will do a what fits in this bag video. One thing I did want to point out with this bag that I noticed and I almost had a, a small heart attack over it, but then I was fine. So on this front lock, you can see where it kind of dips up a little bit right here. See it? It dips up. So I didn't notice that on my other bags. And so initially when I looked at this bag and I noticed it, and it looks really noticeable on this one because I have the plastic on there and the plastic is creased right here. So it looks like it's bent, but it's just like where it turns up slightly right here on the point. So I started scouring the website and scouring uh, the internet, looking for close up pictures of this front piece. And lo and behold, I found out that it is supposed to be that way. But I was so nervous because I thought, oh no, did I get one that's bent on the end? But it is supposed to be like that. And I guess it's just kind of like a little guide so you can feel where the tip of your little bag uh, hardware is. So anyway, so yeah. So if you get one, you don't have to freak out like I did. It's supposed to be like that. They're all like that. So anyway, so this was the other bag that I got. And let me show you the other items that I picked up. I did pick up two more items um, while I was at the Louis Vuitton store and they are in this little bag right here. So 
if you've watched my other videos, then you know that I already have one Louis Vuitton fragrance. So I decided to get another one because I love the other one so much and it's so long lasting and just such beautiful uh, scents. And I'm a huge fan of luxury perfumes. So I have quite a few bottles of perfume. I think I have like 26. I counted them last night. I have like 26 bottles of perfume. And um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in me doing a perfume collection, let me know. I thought about doing it, but I thought it might be boring. So I didn't ever do it. So this is how it comes packaged. And so you just, it comes in this little box. So you just take that out and then it's in this cylinder. And the one that I got is the Air Substance which translates to missing time. And so you just kind of twist the bottom and it looks like this. And I had my initials engraved or etched in the glass on the front and I had them do the gold overlay. I don't think I had them do gold overlay on my other one. I just had them etch it in the glass. So, yes, yeah, so this smells so amazing. Oh my gosh, this stuff, it's, a, it's just amazing. This stuff smells so good. The other bottle I have is Mia Fieu, and I may actually like this better than that one, and I didn't think that was possible because I love that one. So, yeah, this is the Heures d'Absence, and absolutely love this one. I almost went with another one, and I'm glad I didn't because after this one dries down, it has the most beautiful, feminine, just girly, kind of romantic, sexy scent to it. It's just, it smells so pretty. I love it so much. So last but not least, I got something else as well to, and this is just an accessory and it's to go with my artsy bag. So I picked up a bandeau. I have never purchased one of their bandeaus before. So I wanted to get one. Um, so this is the one that I picked up. I don't know what it is called. This, let me see, does it say it on here? Yes, it's the bandolier, it's the Voyage one. So I thought it was so beautiful. Okay, you're supposed to take that off. I haven't used it yet, so I haven't taken it off. But I thought it was so beautiful. It has all of the beautiful animals on it. It has tigers and um, elephants. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this bandeau. It has a turtle. I love turtles. Um, let's see what else. It has butterflies. There's the tiger I was telling you about. I think that's a cheetah or a leopard. Is it cheetah? I think that's a cheetah. And yeah, so it's just absolutely beautiful. At the bottom here, it says Louis Vuitton Meltier. It has a picture of their perfume. I oh, know that's not perfume. What is that? That's a lock. Okay, apparently I need glasses. That's the lock. And I thought it was a bottle of perfume. I was wrong. And then on the other end, it says, oh, and it has a boat. Oh, look, it has a boat with little marine wildlife on it and some kind of book. It's so pretty, I just love it. And the colors are gorgeous. It's like uh, soft blues and browns and some pink, it's just gorgeous. And on this side, it says Voyage Extraordinaire. And on the back side, the back side is super beautiful. It has the leopard and it has all of the trunks, but they're in blue. It's so gorgeous. I just love this so much. And a pineapple. And what's on the other side? Oh, they're so nice. I love this. So I'm really excited because I got this to go on my artsy because I thought that it would be really pretty um, the color up against here. And I thought it would really bring out the blue in the, uh, Damier print. So yeah, I have to learn how to tie it though. Cause I seriously have no freaking idea, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be on there. This is the color up against the bag. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to YouTube how to tie a bandeau, a bandeau on one of these bags because I seriously don't have a clue. Oh, my other bag fell over. Get it together, girls. Okay, so I'll just put that one there. And I'll put this one back in front like I had it. They're gonna probably both fall over now. Stay. Okay, so that has been my Louis Vuitton haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to check out the Ana Luisa website. Um, you would be able to get a discount on your purchase if you use the code that I have in my description. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section or you just have comments or if you have one of the new bags and everything's fine with yours or you're experiencing problems, please let me know because, um, you know, I would like to be proactive with this and not reactive like I was with my other bags. And so, yeah, so hopefully um, this video wasn't too, too long. I know it was a, a long video because I had a lot of stuff to show, but if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button if you like content like this. Uh, this is primarily what I do on my channel. It's mostly all about handbags and occasionally it's about beautiful jewelry. So I will see you in my next video. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.